I'm going to tie an irresistible Griffith snap and I'm starting off with a size 12 dry fly hook in the vise and the thread that I'm going to use is a 6 uh, black so I'm just going to get this started on the hook shank and when I get to the bend I'll just trim off the excess thread I'm going to tie in my hackle and I'm going to use just like I would if I was tying a traditional Griffith snap I'm going to use a grizzly hackle for this so I've got my grizzly hackle. I'm going to clean off the bottom stuff, expose the stem so I have a good a good tie-in. Give it a couple of good wraps there and then I can start to build out my body. And I'm going to use a black deer hair for the body and I'm going to start by taking a, about a pencil width worth of material off the hide and I'm going to trim the tips off and all I'm interested in is kind of that bottom inch by the hide and so I'll just trim out pull out some of the under fur I'm going to set this right on top and I'm going to take two soft turns on the second one pull straight down and then let it spin and then just take my wraps through You'll notice, because of the hook size in this and how close to the back I'm tying it, that some material gets caught up in the, in the hook when it spins. So all I'm doing is, is pulling that through with a closed scissors. So I'll just take a couple more wraps up to the front, and you'll know it's tied in when it stops spinning. So I'm just getting even parts here on, on the side. And I'll bring it up to the top, I'll kind of compress this a little bit, and I'll make some wraps right in front of that. Then I can come back through and tie in my next section, and I'll repeat the process here. I'm just going to take about a pencil width worth of material, trim it off the hide, clean the tips, and any under under fur. Now instead of holding it directly on, I'm just going to angle it slightly. I'll take two soft wraps and then on the second I'll really pull it straight down and through. I'll start to work this up to the eye and again when it stops spinning then you know it's insecure. I'll compress those and then tie it off. And you'll notice I left a good amount of room at the head of the fly uh, and that's just to build out a little thread head at the end and also to tie in my tie in my hackle. So I'll whip finish, remove, and now I can start to make some of my cuts. And the first cut that I'm going to make with this is directly underneath. I'm just going to make a straight cut and what I want to accomplish with that is try to relieve as much space in the hook gap here. I don't want this pattern to affect my hook set at all. So I'm just trimming this up now, just some rough cuts to shape. And when I trim this, I think about what a traditional Griffith snap looks like, and I try to shape the deer hair to it. You can move this hackle out of the way, which is nice. You want to make sure that you don't don't trim it off here in the process of grooming and if you get real nervous about it you can always tape it down in the beginning of the process but I like to be able to maneuver it side to side as I start to do some of this finer finer trimming So just putting a little shape to this. And I probably tend to over groom. Uh, but when I'm happy with the general shape of that, then I can come back through and attach my thread to behind the eye. And trim off the excess. And now I can just wrap my hackle hackle through. So 
take a couple of turns here and then just make nice even wraps all the way up through and tie it off when I get to the eye you can trim off the excess then and now put in my my whip finish and trim off the thread and again if you wanted to do any additional grooming to this you can just to clean it up I use this pattern a lot in the in the winter as I do most of my or a lot of times my, my Griffith snap but what I like about this is it it floats a little bit better and uh, will hold a nymph hanging off the the bend in the hook so anyway that is uh, my irresistible Griffith snap